And if there's one thing we pride ourselves on in Talberg, it's that we defend the honor of our goats. All right, now to business. Get ready in the ravine before the bridge to Rovna. We'll drain their blood. Ну так себе луки. Сейчас тут все обследую и пойду выполнять это задание с подкреплением. Да, 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 это баг такой в версии 1.4.1. Чего? Это, вот это стражник или он типа сквозь палатку? Что это? Короче, не важно. Так. Может быть теперь сработает этот квест по тому, что отнести снадобье в лагерь. Давайте попробуем. Greetings. What do you think of Master Keys? I've already asked him to stay on here when this is over. His ideas are incredible. I can't wait to launch it. Sounds like you're sorry not to be the siege master. Who knows? I may still get a. I'm glad. What is your impression of Master Keys? Sir Hanush thinks he's insane. Craze as one of those dung smeared fools reciting the New Testament backwards in this. But what do you think? Sometimes I think a little craziness is no bad thing. Master Keezer's seen and lived through a lot in his time in foreign land. It all sounds like the babbling of a maybe. I'd like to see them shooting off, screaming through the sky like comets. <laughs> Кусты такие кусты. Так, секунду, я проверю. Да, все записал.
Интересно, значит, нам в конце вот этой части, да, получается, первая часть Kingdom Come Deliverance, или как там у них, я не знаю, главная часть. Hold. Hold. Так, сейчас запишу, держись. Враги, то есть не прорисовка, но... прорисовка, короче, хромает, вот они, прорисовались. Ну да, это, это если нас только столько, их гораздо больше. Хотя я с ними... А если я один их с луков, в принципе, на коне кружить, то размотаю. Кунжив остался. Ч он за живчик-то? Да ладно, вот именно вот, вот именно между ними Ермак. Не, не попаду они ему за это. Смотри, он прям занял читерскую позицию. Лол, бак, я не могу туда. Ну ладно, вроде все, поговала. Я не могу туда идти просто. Маги пану ганушу. Лукомба. Сразу как только лук на коне попробовал, конечно, сразу понял. Not Sir Istvan, or Lord Toth. Just how intimate are the two of you? I know him. 
He's Eric. Toff's captain and right-hand man. Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. делом я прям как этот чувствую себя леголасом из бессильных колец ну практически так ну вроде защитил нет страницы нельзя надеюсь багов не будет никаких Напали на одного кого-то. Но они его сейчас убьют. Там двое еще остались, ну ладно. Типа, типа все. Или что? The damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot? Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. 
And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? Sir, I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? He was the captain at Vranjik, and he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. Seems to be on very, um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godson, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. your peace with God. Do your words. Greetings. What I do you... I won't betray my lord. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. You need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions and you'd better think carefully about how you answer them. Who is this Toth? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Ishtavan ended up in his service. How did you meet him? He killed my parents. What? Toth killed your parents? You could never understand. They were weak. Ishtavan strong. He took better care of me than any father. What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas's allies. You! How many men does he have in the castle? Enough to thrash you all. Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will, for your own sake. Because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Istvan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come for me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You'd never understand. For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Well, Divish. I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hamish. So be it. 
I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our neighborly visit catch you unprepared? Very little, but we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Jobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Jobst, you say? All right. Hmm. What is he doing here? Who's Jobst? Jobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund in the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Jobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready.
Hmm? 